Uh, we got a lot of uh, questions about the Toilet Diaries and uh, how we created a few of them, especially this one, uh, P-Day. Yeah, yeah the, the Second World War Army photo that we created the scene in our toilet. For this uh, particular picture we needed a lot of special props uh, because it was a Second World War setting. So uh, we contacted a friend of ours who knew a guy who uh, collected uh, World War II uh, uh, crap. <laughs> When we, when we got there, we got off the car and uh, we immediately got, got attacked by a few dogs that were uh, wandering around there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but once we were safe in the shed, it was, uh, it was really cool. We, uh, we checked around and there was all kinds of real hand grenades, guns, uh, a jeep. Uh, <laughs> jeep? <laughs> uh, all kinds of stuff. We were actually really surprised by this. One of our friends uh, was helping us. Uh, he, he walked into the bank building with the stuff and he was at, literally was like, this is the first time in my life I'm actually walking into a bank with hand grenades. So it was kind of a uh, funny quote. For a lot of our shoots we use all types of sand. And for this one in particular we used a lot of potting soil. Basically because it looks like dirt. We used a lot of that stuff actually. 120 liters we needed for the shoot. <laughs> in a workspace we sometimes built some props that we needed for the toilet diaries. So for this shoot, <laughs> it was actually very funny, we had this image in our mind that we wanted to make this, this wooden cross with uh, barbed wire on it. And then we started working on this, this fantastic cross that in the end uh, <laughs> appeared to be way too small. <laughs> <laughs> we failed, so we made, a, we made a new one and it was uh, a little bit uh, more sized. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> too perfect to match the picture. Go. Stupid. Most of the time, you use a simple lighting plan, but it's basically just trial and error. We obviously have done more shoots in the toilet, so we know how the light reacts, and pretty fast we're ready to light out our sets and can start away. We shoot the toilet rooms separately from each other, where one is the photographer and the other one is the model. For this shoot we used a smoke machine to create a more dark war atmosphere. This combined with blue gels on two of our flashes for a nighttime look and we also taped the gel on the ceiling lights that also had a bit of influence in lighting the complete scene. In the back there is a strong backlight flash to give the impression of an explosion on the battlefield. <laughs> uh, as you can see here we would be awesome soldiers. Uh, we used the magical combination of fake blood and the pudding soil to get dirty and get the farting going. <laughs> <laughs> After cleaning till down, we continued to pick the right photo. There was always a deadline to catch. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. And Or you can con contact us on Facebook. We also uh, have a website if you want to see more of our work. It's uh, toiletdarts.nl and our Facebook is Facebook slash uh, Duct Tape Studios, but uh, all the info is also downstairs on the on the <laughs> on the info. Uh, your yeah, YouTube. downstairs. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey, thanks. Yeah, goodbye.